Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna do a quick video on how to make a capacitor bank. I posted a video where I mentioned that I could possibly make one and kind of seeing if you guys would be interested in it. I got a few comments saying, yes, you guys wanna see it. So here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a capacitor bank that's going to be 13,200 UF uh, microfarad. And that would be enough to get rid of probably about 98% of the ripple. And it will provide a storage of charge for your ESC to be able to pull out large bursts of current without sagging the voltage too badly. It's very easy to do. So what I'm starting off with is I'm buying these capacitors right here. Uh, 220 UF at 50 volts. You can find them on Amazon, very cheap. You can get a pack of 10 of them for like $7. So when you add these capacitors up, you have your negative on one side and your positive on the other side. You will always see this right here. The line always points to the negative and then the other side will be the positive. So what we're gonna do is we're going to solder in these capacitors in parallel. Parallel meaning that you have them where all the negatives are facing one side and all the positives are facing the other side. So if you have them in parallel like this, you end up with a uh, 4,400 micro capacitance at 50 volts. If you put them in series, meaning one after the other, where you have this negative tied to this positive like this, this will give you 2200 micro at 100 volts. So what we wanna do is we wanna multiply the capacitance and every time we add a capacitor, now we got 60, uh, 600 micro. With six of these in parallel, we will have 13,200 micro of capacitance. That is a lot of capacitance that your ESC will now have access to to be able to instantaneously pull out of here, not having to pull out of the battery. The battery will be continuously charging these quickly, and the ESC, anytime you need a big burst of power, it will pull it out of here and not out of the battery. This should do wonders for instantaneous power and to get rid of the voltage drop and the voltage ripple from your electrical circuit on the ESC. What I'm gonna do now I'm going to solder each and every one of these wires together to be able to have them all connected. I'm going to use a piece of plastic on top and on the bottom to be able to have basically like a brick, like a battery brick. So right now I'm basically weaving the lead wire all on the wire next to it. So I, I go from one capacitor to the next and kind of weave them in place. And then after that, I'm gonna cover all that with solder. And then I'm gonna show you guys the final result and how it looks. So you guys can see all the wires are like weaved in and out of each other over here. So once you got that done, uh, I basically am gonna fill them all with solder. I do wanna um, point out something about this is that when you make this there is no protection in here uh, very much so like a lot of rc stuff some batteries have protection in them some don't but these this right here there's no protection so if something happens and there's a dead short inside this it will blow up like it, it will it, it can cause a fire because there's a lot of energy that's in here and there's a lot of energy that is coming into here from the battery. So if this gets shorted, it's gonna, it's gonna burn up. So you gotta, guys gotta be very careful. But this side right now is done. All of these are connected together. Like I said, individually we have 2200. After we solder them all together, I'm gonna get my meter and we'll measure the whole entire pack and see exactly what this whole entire pack equates to when it comes to capacitance. Here is the other side all wrapped up and weaved into itself. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of solder across all that. And then we'll go ahead and take a measurement of how much capacitance we have. And then after that, we will solder the wires. So we now have our cap bank 
all soldered together on both sides. And I have my fluke meter right there. Now, um, it usually reads in microfarad, but it's going to read uh, 13.2 possibly. And that is uh, 13,200 microfarad UF. So 13 MF, which is that is 13,000 microfarad. So that, that's a lot of capacitance right there, guys. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use 14 gauge wire. I kind of feel like it's not really big enough, but we also gotta remember that capacitors provide instantaneous current and not sustained high current. So these capacitors will charge up and quickly discharge and then they'll be discharged until they are until we are done pulling power and then they have a moment to recharge um, at that point all they're doing is filtering so we should not ever be pulling high current from the capacitors for any real extended period of time so i soldered the red wire to the red side the black wire to the black side positive is red black is negative okay <laughs> Can't mix those two up, but here it is. And you guys can see that I started it kind of towards the middle and that's for a reason. I don't want current flowing from one side through all of them to one side. I want a current flowing from here to there and from there to there. That way we lighten how much current this bus bar that we created has to carry. Freaking popsicle sticks. They will work perfect. And all this needs to do is just keep it kind of rigid so we will just glue them right there. So I put epoxy on one side of these and that epoxy will also help stiffen it up. And then that popsicle stick, I'm gonna put one on each side and then I'm gonna wrap it all in some black duct tape. So here it is guys, my 13,000 microfarad capacitor bank. Made by me, nice little solid pack Reinforced in here, reinforced in here, um, all epoxy together with high quality capacitors and flying leads at the end. So the way I plan to have it is at the end, I'm going to have a female bullet co connector and a male bullet connector soldered together like this. It will be covered in heat shrink and then the, you'll have one going on positive and one going on negative. So I'll be able to put this in between my battery connection and my ESC. I know it's kind of bulky. Um, we can make smaller ones with with uh, not as much capacitance where it's not needed, but this is what I made. This will fit perfectly into the top of the limitless and provide a lot of instantaneous current. After finishing up building the cap bank, I installed it into the car. And the way I did it is I have a male and a female uh, eight, millimeter bullet here and there so I can put it between the positive and the negative so I can at any time basically remove it and then plug these things directly into the ESC and it's gone and if I want to put it back in I just it's as easy as plugging it in and out so everything is uh, plug and play it fits very well uh, the body fits right over this without any problems at all uh, I got my little speed boost RC and then the 13,200 micro cat bank it turned out very cool. Definitely looks like legit. I hope you liked this video. I hope it taught you how to do this. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.